What's up everybody and welcome back to my channel. Danielle Bergoli, better known as Bad Baby or Catch Me Outside Girl, is officially accusing Dr. Phil of placing her in a teen boot camp in Utah where she claims that she was abused. Danielle appeared on the Dr. Phil show in 2016 where she became one of the biggest stars ever produced, if not the biggest star from his show. And she claims that she was taken to a turnabout ranch in Utah in the middle of the night as part of a deal that Dr. Phil made with her mother to help quote unquote straighten her out. She's like, listen, for three days, they wouldn't let me lay down, sleep or anything like that. I was falling asleep and they were like, oh, get up, get up. So I'm just sitting here like, this is gonna be really bad when I see that these people have no sympathy. I found that particularly troubling because sleep deprivation is one of like, you know, the core um, methods of torture. So for them to be using this on young children speaks volumes, allegedly, by the way, allegedly using this on young children kind of speaks volumes about what else they may or may not have been experiencing on the premises. Danielle is not the first celebrity to speak out about these sort of, you know, teen behavioral correction camps or whatever um, being run out of Utah. In fact, the first person to really majorly speak out about it in recent times is Paris Hilton in her YouTube documentary that got a lot of attention that caused a lot more people to open up about their own experiences in these sorts of facilities. And Danielle acknowledges that Paris Hilton bravely speaking out about her own experiences, encouraged her to join the Breaking Code Silence movement, which was created to help victims open up about, you know, their mistreatment and um, alleged abuse in these sorts of facilities. There's no word yet on whether or not Dr. Phil has kind of reached out privately to Danielle about her experience there, either to help him run an internal investigation on whether or not he should be sending more teenagers there or to apologize for, you know, sending her there in the first place. But rest assured that Danielle probably will let us know if and when that does happen because she publicly demanded an apology for him actually when she broke her silence. She said, and I quote, Dr. Phil, I'm going to give you from now until April 5th to issue an apology, not only to me, but to Hannah or any other child you sent to turn about or any other program like this. And if you don't, I'm going to handle things my way. Sounds to me like Danielle is planning to catch Dr. Phil outside one of these days. How about that? You guys, this story is incredibly sad and you know, my heart goes out to Danielle, just like it does to Paris Hilton and anybody else who has experienced this kind of, you know, abuse as a child. It's not easy to go through. It's not easy to speak out about. And, you know, it's very difficult as well to get justice for, you know, for what it is that you have suffered. Danielle spoke about how she was punished for speaking out against the abuse at the time that it was happening, the alleged abuse, sorry. And it's been about five years since the alleged incidents even took place. And like, you know, now knowing that she was punished for speaking out, it's pretty safe to say that the school was not correctly um, investigating these sorts of claims by, by the children. And so I doubt that any like records that could help her fight it in a court of law, whether civil or criminal, are available. And that is incredibly heartbreaking. You guys, do you think that Dr. Phil is going to stop sending children to these behavioral correction camps as a result of Danielle Bergoli's allegations? And do you think that he will issue a public apology or maybe have her back onto the show so that they can discuss it on the record. Make sure to let me know all of your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below. And as usual, we'll chat. That's all for now. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.